Well, New Atan, a former private security guard, is accused of posing as a cop when he pulled a man over and allegedly kidnapped and then sexually assaulted him. We want to thank you for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. Thank you for joining us. The alarming encounter happened in the Spring Branch area earlier this month, but an arrest just came in in the last 24 hours. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry live at the Harris County Jail tonight with what we know so far about this suspect. Bryce? Daniela and Keith, these court papers say that this suspect had emergency lights activated and even pretended to talk on a radio with police dispatch before he allegedly handcuffed another man at gunpoint, coerced him into a sexual act, and then finally let him go. 28-year-old Gionari Gillespie is facing three felony charges tonight in jail with a $300,000 bond. And the defendant is alleged to pose as a police officer uh, detained the complainant, uh, handcuffed him, took him to another location, sexually assaulted him before taking him back to the location where he detained him at. Houston police say it happened earlier this month as the victim, a man in his 20s, left this market off Westview Drive in the Spring Branch area. Gillespie allegedly pulled up in an unmarked vehicle and told the victim he fit the description of a suspect of a crime in a nearby neighborhood. According to court documents, Gillespie stopped the victim with emergency lights activated, claimed to be a police officer, pretended to talk on the radio with police dispatch, and put the victim in hand restraints. Then after the alleged sex act, police say Gillespie let him go. It's pretty apparent from the summary that there's no ongoing relationship here. But during his first court appearance, the magistrate said Gillespie took down the victim's personal information, like address and phone number. The complaining witness even showed the investigating detective text messages that he had received on his phone, allegedly from you, that night after the assault. KPRC2 has confirmed Gillespie worked as a private security guard, seen in these photos posted publicly on Facebook, at one point serving as director of human resources. His former employer, Texas Crime LLC, telling KPRC2 in a statement, we prioritize maintaining a professional and responsible work environment, and any actions that may have occurred outside of work hours should not be attributed to our organization. At the time of the alleged incident in question, Gillespie was not working for Texas Crime LLC and has since been terminated. According to state records, the Department of Public Safety has suspended Gillespie's private security license for unknown reasons at least twice, once in 2018 and again earlier this year. And records show that Gillespie has been convicted of crimes before, but nothing quite like this series of events. Tonight, his charges include impersonating a public servant, aggravated kidnapping, and aggravated sexual assault. He's scheduled to face a judge tomorrow morning. We're live at the jail tonight. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Bryce, thank